This will be the busiest weekend of the season for Wolfpack Athletics. The end of the soccer regular season, the start of the volleyball season, both basketball teams playing preseason games. Baseball continues its fall schedule and swimming is off to its first meet of the season. Cross country, the only program with this weekend off. TFJC Sports and TRU Athletics bring you a peek at this weekend's games with Wolfpack TV. And so it all comes down to this, the final weekend of the season that will decide if the Wolfpack soccer teams are in or out of the playoffs. Heading into the weekend, both the women and men are on the outside, and both are going to be on the road to finish things off, starting with the women. At Fraser Valley and Trinity Western, the Spartans have already clinched a playoff and will have their eye on jumping past Calgary into first place. Fraser Valley and UNBC are the teams the Wolfpack are chasing to get into a top-six playoff. One point back of Fraser Valley. That game against the Cascades will be critical to their chances. Historically, the Wolfpack haven't had any luck against the two opponents this weekend, winless and without a goal in five games against the Cascades and Spartans over the last five years. A goal of ours, obviously, to, uh, to make playoffs, and the good thing is it's still in our hands. Uh, the challenge is we're playing against two very, very good teams, and so you know we'll do every, whatever we can to get set up and, and uh, see what we can do to get into playoffs. <laughs> two very, very good teams. Uh, Trinity, I think ranked either number one or have been hovering around number one and number two in the country so an old team of mine I was there as an assistant there for a couple of years it's going to be tough anytime we're playing against uh, those types of teams it's going to be difficult but we'll we'll come up with a plan we'll set up and we'll try and be difficult to play against this season we've proved that we can do pretty good against the the bigger teams so I think we definitely have a chance yeah could be even more of a challenge for the Wolfpack men to get into the postseason. They have lost scoring leader James Fraser for the remainder of the season and the playoffs if they do get in. Fraser has been out for the last few weeks with a rare infection in his back. The Wolfpack play the final two games of the season at UNBC in Prince George. Only four teams get in with standings based on winning percentage and not points. TRU and UNBC are both in the chase to overtake Fraser Valley. UBC Okanagan, while Percentage points better has finished its season and will not be in the playoffs. So for the Wolfpack, it comes down to winning these last two games in Prince George. Also getting some help from UBC and Victoria, who will play Fraser Valley this weekend. It's, it's just the old cliches, one game at a time. I mean, we just have to go in there and, and just focus on Saturday and, and doing the right things, making sure we play together as a group, make sure we play smart, minimize mistakes as much as possible, and, and just try and get a result and go out there. And they have to do the same thing. They're still in a, in a playoff battle, so it's gonna be it's going to be fierce for both of us. So while soccer will close out the regular season, volleyball begins with a trip to the far east of Canada West, facing the Bobcats and Brandon. Coming off a 13 and 11 and playoffs in 2018-19, the Wolfpack women return their entire roster along with two veteran recruits. Head coach Chad Grimm had the Wolfpack play a very light preseason schedule with big travel for the first two games before playing six in a row at home. I, I know the group pretty well with just two new additions and it's a pretty veteran group as well. Uh, and I think also, uh, Travel can take its toll a little bit, so I, I don't want to put too many miles in before it gets to the important stuff, league, uh, and, and those kind of games. Brandon's always a tough team. Um, they're usually the underdog, and obviously it's always hard playing against the underdog, but uh, I think we're not really expecting a whole ton, just like posting on our side of the net is our main key. Now in Brandon, the Wolfpack men are going to begin the season against the defending Canada West champion Bobcats. And despite the distance between Kamloops and Brandon, these two teams do have a rivalry. Both came into Canada West at the same time and they have had some classic playoff battles. Wolfpack head coach Pat Henley says the loss of their best player from last season means they're going to have to rely more on depth in 2019-20. They have good balance offensively. You know, we've had a different guy step up every time we played and uh, that's important. I think last year we were a little one-dimensional with Tim Dobert and obviously it's hard not to rely on a guy with his skill level. So we know that going into this year we have to have guys step up all the time and we have to have a more balanced attack and so far we managed to do that. Now with soccer and volleyball on the road, men's basketball is hosting an invitational preseason tournament with UBCO, McEwen and Fraser Valley joining the Wolfpack for games Friday and Saturday. Women's basketball will close out the preseason with two games in Abbotsford against Fraser Valley. 
Wolfpack Baseball will be in Vancouver to play the UBC Junior Varsity Thunderbirds before heading off to College Nationals next week at Humber College. And Brad Dalkey's TRU swim team will have its first event of the season in Penticton. Larry Reed will have a full wrap on the weekend on Monday on Wolfpack TV. Your TRU Athletics Weekend Preview is brought to you by CFJC Sports and TRU Athletics.